Back into race action now with BMW M Performance Parts Racing Series Race 2. And we really have been battling here with the cell tower signal here. But it uh, looks like we're back up on YouTube. And a big welcome, everybody, back again here on our YouTube channel. You're going to join us here for the second heat of BMW M Performance Racing Series. Which will see Fabio Fedetto on the front row ahead of William Einkammer, Leon Loebscher and Ari van den Bach. Mark Jones, Jan Everstein, Jagger Robertson, Rick Leroux, Carlos Garbini and Andreas Mayer, the top 10 here for this second heat of the BMWs. Lorenzo Gautieri is now in the, at the wheel of uh, the SAV Speed BMW. We saw SAV Gautieri on the side of that car in, in the uh, results. They've sorted that out now, and it'll be Neil Reynolds alongside him for the sixth row of the grid. Troy Cochran and Darby Ulifur will make up the seventh row, and then it'll be Trevor Long and David Oosthuizen. They will be just ahead of Renier Smith and Bernard de Gavea with Craig Habst and Manny Ribeiro. Then behind them, it's going to be Eugene Hoes, Nicholas Habst, it'll be Jaco Storm and Shane Krobler, and then it's uh, Johnny Marcatellis ahead of Batty Ritfeld, Nicholas Fisher. Dave Reese at the back end. Cars coming to take the positions now for the second heat of the BMW M Performance Racing Series. And a magnificent field of BMWs, over 24 of them, about to go to battle for the second time. Slightly different format of the grid that we saw from race number one including the certain improvement there for Jagger Robertson you can see just on the left hand side there Justin with the red cap on opening up that Viking BMW of Jagger his son's car to just give him a final bit of tips on how to get to the front end possibly by the time they get to turn one he's got to get through on Leon Lopesha who's just ahead of him there with the 66 on the side of his door and he's got to find a way through on Iron Camera and on the pole man Fabio Fedetto so it could be a bit of a a shuffle of positions as they go down to turn one and come out in the exit point of turn one. See all the cars sorted out there and about to come to take up their final positions for this second heat. We've got DOE Formula V still to be done today in terms of the sprint races and then we're going into the big one here today, the Pakisa 200. 200 kilometers of racing around the circuit for Car Care Clinic Super Hatch and the Car Care Clinic GT Sports and Triple One Saloons as well as a couple of pay bar Volkswagen Challenge cars thrown into the mix as well. A couple of Lotuses being recovered from the, the circuit as you can see in the background there, just underneath the bridge. Double load. Yeah, one on the flatbed, one being towed back. Double duties there for our tow truck drivers today. Been a day of doubles though, so looking for more of the same. As long as those boys have got their sandals on, it'll be okay. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep it on the penny whistle here in race number two. Like Ronald Slammett did at Kyle Army only a couple of weekends ago. Festival of Motoring and the ZX10 R Masters Cup. Looks like we under starters orders for a few things to be sorted out at the back end before we go racing. So a big field of BMWs making their way around now for the second time 
of ice skiing today. And the same performance club racing series certainly heating up in terms of championship battles as well. Big fights between class A, class B, class C, D and E all in the mix. Overall honours up for grabs as well here. Troy Cochran will be looking to improve in the Arrow BMW. Great fight there with Trevor Long and Rania Smith in the first one. Shane Krobler's in the mix there with him now as well for his attempt to get to the front end of that little battle. Chuck for De Gavea and Manny Ribeiro as well to resume their little fight. Big field of BMWs led out by a Toyota 86 at this stage. To try and uh, bring them all under starter's orders. For Deto and Ankamra, the front row. And Lopesha and race one winner, Murray van der Bath. Jan Everstein and Mark Jones. Mark Jones, but Mark Jones is not on the track. So it doesn't look like the Sav Speed boys were able to get Jonesy's car sorted out for race number two. And back on track. Let's see what's going to happen now as they come into Uncini 1 and Uncini 2. Andreas Mayer, the German, behind Carlo Garbini. They're on the fifth row of the grid. Lorenzo Gotteri will be alongside Neil Reynolds. Cochrane and Olivier, and it's Long and Oersthuizen. Smith and De Gavea. See them weaving from side to side, trying to get as much heat into the rubber. You don't want to put too much heat into the rubber, though. The surface is very abrasive, so you don't have to worry about too much lack of grip. What you've got to worry about is too much grip out there, and uh, the tire is getting ripped up. Lorenzo Gotteri pulling alongside the German, getting into their start race procedure positions now. Itching to get those loud pedals down. As Claudio would say, putting the sandals on the penny whistle. This is going to be good. Here we go. A couple of cars caught out just slightly and not bunched up as much as what we'd like. Fedetto catching them out here slightly. Iron Camera behind that, and here they come to form up for the rolling start for them all to come into the main straightaway the man with the flag is waiting he's waiting and about to drop it in anger here we go down towards turn one he's going to have what it takes into turn one it is going to be on camera once again for the whole shot as he goes into turn one jagger robertson sweeping over the nose there of gabini and of lara so those two having to uh, eat some dust as they get into the clutches of that viking mining car he's going to go on the inside of everstein and there's a little, little touch there between the two of them coming through turn two through the flick into turn three now. Jagger Robertson squeezing up behind Leon Lopesha. What a start there from Robertson. Fedetto dropping back slightly into the clutches there of Garbini. Looks like Fabio Fedetto losing a lot of ground there off the pole position he was gifted. Out front though, it's Ankamara making hay while the sunshine's heading towards Coca-Cola as the rest of them are trying to pick up the pieces in the background. Ankamara from Lopesha. Lopesha from Jagger Robertson. Jagger Robertson from Garbini, he's got Everstein on his inside. Here comes Luke Bricklero on the inside there, looking for a way through on Lorenzo Gutierrez. Gutierrez side by side with the German. Now and then handed it over to uh, Bricklero to take him on that fight with the German Andreas Mayer. Mayer now looking for a way through on that little box-shaped BMW of Lero, but he can't find it into Intuni 1. Right behind them, they start to line up, and Fedetto has dropped behind the German, down into about ninth place overall. It's not the way he wanted to start things out, that is for sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, ninth place. Here comes an uh, opportunity for the German to get through and finds a way past Enric Ricklero. Loses out there ever so slightly, heading into the fast right-hander. So race leader at this stage is William Einkamera, triple five. Getting away now from Leon Lopesha and Jagger Roberts, incredibly up to third place. He started at the back of race number one. Came up to eighth place. He's now into third from his eighth position on the grid. Leroux having an absolutely amazing run there. 
side by side with the German. Fidetto falling into the clutches there of that second pack net out by Neil Reynolds. Reynolds pushing hard to stay just an ahead of uh, Troy Cochran. It looks like David Oersthuizen, I should say. David Oersthuizen, not Reynolds, I beg your pardon. It's David Oersthuizen ahead of Cochran. Cochran pushing through there ahead of Long and Rainier Smith. Smith and Long were side by side, but now Smith squeezes through. Now tries to do the same thing here on Troy Cochran. They come up into turn three. Smith on the inside. And the answer there to Cochran as Cochran shuts the door. Here comes Long in the roof surgeon car. And BMW looking for a chance. Here comes Lopesha, applying pressure. In fact, Lopesha's at the front. Lopesha has hit the front and got ahead of uh, our initial race leader there. Side by side with Carlo Gabini as they get towards Puccini 1 and 2. Gabini just squeezes through. Wow, brilliant stuff. Just getting through there in the Kimbo Coffee BMW and outgunning that Viking and Liqui Molly, big boss BMW. Onto the back straight goes Jagger Robertson trying to come back at Carlo Gabini. Behind that, Lorenzo Gotieri has got Everstein up close and personal. In fact, Everstein has dropped back slightly a bit behind Andreas Mayer. Just saw that in the background. Mayer has got through there on Everstein. So Jan has dropped back a couple of positions. Not where he wants to be. That is for sure. So the top two go through to complete another lap. This is an eight lapper here for BMW M Performance Racing Series. Everstein goes defensive. Keeps out Rick. Rick at this stage not going to find a way past on Everstein. Andreas Mayer trying to find a way through here if he can. But Lorenzo Gotieri is making it very difficult for him. And looking for a chance. Not quite able to make it stick here. Then further back, Ribeiro fighting hard. The greenhouse car there. Making its way through rapidly. Nicholas Haps on the back end of Ribeiro. Then you've got Yucca Storm just behind that. So behind them. Watch out as well for the hard charge coming out of Bertie Rietveld. And also into that mix by the looks of things. Is that, uh, yes it is, Eugene Coase. Eugene Coase into the mix there too. So nice little maneuvering there from Coase in the Masters Mowers BMW. Yucca Storm just in front here. You can see him coming down towards turn three. Shout out once again there to the boys from Ozoic Panel Beaters for the work they did on that car to get it ready for today. Incredible little job that uh, Dirk Lawrence and his team did to get Yucca's car sorted out after a big incident at the last round of their championship. Parked on the sideline there was Ari van den Berg, I think. Yeah, I think that might have been the uh, 357 BMW or was it somebody else? Was that on camera? Have a look and see. Oh, our, our director is having a look to see if he can spot the BMW that I saw as well to see who it is. But there's definitely a, a front runner that's parked on the sideline. It's uh, Leon Lopesha. Leon Lopesha to the side, the man who is leading things out. Lopesha's parked on the sideline at the toe of the boot. Into turn four there. What a pity there for Leon Lopesha. He was going so well in that BMS. That's going to change things up at the front end. That's going to give Ein Karma the lead. Leon Lopesha is going to drop down. Carlo Gobini will probably move to second place and Jagger stays third. Fidetto coming to the line now. He's got pressure coming from the back end. Rainier Smith diving through. Finding a way past on the 75 car. David Wurstes and losing out there to Rainier Smith. Trevor Long coming along for the ride as well. Looking for a way through there on Smith if he can find it. Rainier Smith going through turn one. On his towel, it is the 75 car of David Wurstes. Everstein fighting here with Rick. Rick, Rick Lerero having a phenomenal run here in that box shape BM. On the inside of Jan Everstein. Lorenzo Gotteri continues his fight with the German. Gobini's got away now from Jagger Robertson. So that's two and three in the shot. He has four and five. The stage, the Sam Speed BMW of Lorenzo Gotteri hangs on to the German out. It's allowing Lerero and Jan Everstein to join that party. Could possibly be a four way fight between these four. And you're going to take a couple more laps for those two BMs behind to close in on Andreas Mayer, who's battling away to find a way past as well here on Lorenzo Gotteri. Down the back straight away they go. Gotteri pushing hard, but uh, just keeping an eye on the rearview mirror all the time. 
watching for some kind of a pounce there from the German. See, I'm just mad, me, me, meaning business here, there's no doubt about it. Not going to be an easy day in the saddle for these guys to make it to the front end. But they're certainly going to enjoy the battle that they're having right now for 4, 5 and 6th place on track. As Loraro joins the front. He has got onto the back end there of Andreas Mayer. And by doing that, Mayer's gone defensive. He's lost a little bit of ground there. And he loses ground there to Lorenzo Guterri, who pulls away ever so slightly there from the German in the car number one. Remember, that is a three-time champion in this category. Herrera pushing hard, but he's not quite there. Everstein kind of joined the party as well in the top end of the shot there. We saw Jagger Robertson still in third and Garbini still in second. William Einkammer are being gifted a victory here by uh, the demise of not only race one winner Ari van der Bach, but also race two leader and parked on the left hand side of the shot there there's the BMW on the sideline of Leon Lopesha it's such a pity to do those two cars but fighting continues here for runs four five and six and Terry hangs on over Mayer and Herrera Everstein lost a little bit of breathing room there hasn't quite gone into the back end of that box shape of uh, Rick Lerero nice little run here from him maybe he'll be doing this as a bit of a warm up for next weekend as uh, GNH Transport Extreme Supercars go to battle in Cape Town at the next round of the National Championships great drive onto the back straight there from Andreas Mayer but defensive driving coming out of Lorenzo Gotteri not giving any room whatsoever there to the German to get through Garbini in fact Garbini is closing on Ankamera Garbini is definitely closing on the back end of Ankamera the Kimbo coffee man look, looking to possibly spoil the day here for William Ankamera three laps to go for them as they come to the line so is there enough time here for uh, Carlo Garbini to possibly win this one Garbini was fastest on that last lap and with that fastest lap has closed the gap down to uh, a relatively comfortable margin he could potentially catch in these next three laps Jagger Robertson in third place all on his own some done an amazing job here to recover after starting from the back of the field in race one he made up 20 positions in the space of eight laps to get up to eighth place as we see Trevor Long peeling into pit lane the roof surgeon BMW going into the pit box. Iron Camera and Garbini. Definitely that gap coming down even more now. Jamie Robinson will be looking to pick up any of the pieces if something goes wrong between those two. Thank you. There is Yucca Storm. Look at the job that's been done there, as I said. That car was completely destroyed in an accident he had at the previous round. And a great job there from his oak panel meters to get it sorted out. Storm's got Craig Herbst closing him down there in the golf racing colored BMW just behind him. Herbst looking to try and close things down there. Maybe spoil the day there for Yucko Storm. Two and three fighting hard here. Well, this is a third place battle that's up for grabs fourth place back the bigger part we've got Jagger remember in the middle of those two so fourth place fight there between four cars here they come completing another lap penultimate lap about to be started oh Andreas German Andreas Mayer makes a big mistake into the final corner opens up the door and Rick Leroux capitalizes so does Jan Everstein I wonder if those tyres have been cooked a little bit too much there we did tell you that Pekisa is a very hard and has a huge amount of wear on tyres. And I think the German might be finding the effects there. Yes, he is. There is no grip on the front end of that car. He's battling to turn it in. Andreas Mayer drops down into what is now 7th place. Everstein's ahead of him. Rick Lerero is ahead of him as well. It's uh, Lorenzo Gotteri who leads that battle for 4th. There is your leader, William Einkammer. How far back is Garbini? There is Garbini. So with a lap and a half to go for these two, good possibilities that, that uh, Garbini could still have a chance of wrapping this one up and taking it away from the man who leads at the moment. The 
Kimbo, coffee man, trying to catch William Ankomara out front. Coming up on Long, who's returned to the circuit after a little pit stop. Trevor Long back on track, trying to get some championship points, securing as high a position as possible after having to go into the pit lane. Carlo Gobini is now right up close and personal with that lead car of William Armcomera. Will he have a look into the final corner? No, he won't. Changes up his line ever so slightly. Going to try and get the drive onto the main straight as they start their final lap. One to go. Garbini is certainly looking dangerous. Will he have a chance now to find a way past on William Armcomera? Back markers they're coming up onto. One of them will be Eugene Close in the Master Mose BMW. Ein Kamara goes a little bit too defensive, nearly catches himself out. Watching the inside line there, trying to attempt to block Garbini, and he ran a little bit wide. So he's got to just keep it all smooth and steady. He's coming up on that back marker, trying to use the back marker to the advantage, is usually the case. Close will realize these are the front runners coming along, and he'll well aware of how to get out the way lots of race experience there in Eugene Close and that's exactly what he does just pulls to the inside and out of harm's way to allow the steam train through Garbini looking for a way through Jan Ankomera and Ankomera making a few mistakes on this last lap it could be costly ones Garbini gets onto that back straight away now he'll need to be right underneath that big wing if he's got a chance of using that slipstream effect he runs a bit wide, puts a wheel on the dirt. That's a hard car. Logobini is trying here yeah, for an overall win in BMW M Performance Parts Racing Series. You can see how hard he's pushing. Two back markers to negotiate, two corners to negotiate. Are oh, the corners or the back markers going to cause a bit of a problem here for the leader? Can he hang on? Coming to the line. Looks like there's a bit of a fight on here just ahead of them. They're going to have to be aware of that. They have to back out of it to uh, not get involved in that little fight. But as they come to the line, Garbini's going to try and out-drag the man in first. No, Einkamera goes defensive. Einkamera wins. William Einkamera wins out over Carlo Garbini. What a dice to the line there between those two. Unbelievable stuff. And it's, uh, oh, Rick Leroux with some problems in the closing stages as well. He runs off track. Allowing Everstein a bit of a sniff there to try and get one step higher. Jagger Robertson will come through for third place. He's already gone across the line. Lorenzo Gotteri will finish up. And looks like Everstein might have just got through there on Rick Leroux after that small mistake into the penultimate corner there for the man from Combined Racing. The German with some big problems. Look at that. Front right completely flat. There's the reason why he couldn't turn that car. The German with some massive problems there. That front right tire completely deflated. And that would have cost him dearly in terms of championship points here for race two. So it's BMW M Performance Parts Racing Series race two done.